Hey everybody, welcome to the show. Mr. Brother Derek here. Uh, coming at you, uh, I just watched the uh, AEW Rats when I got it on the TV screen right now. Uh, I gotta say, uh, very, very ordinary show tonight. I mean, ordinary. I mean, they signed this guy, Commander. Look at this guy. Look at this idiot. Why would they give this man money? He do all that jumping around. He's got that and wait for him to catch him. This guy be, be, be walking the ropes. Like, like he on a tightrope in the circus. If I want to watch the circus, I go to the... T.T. Marshall does it. That guy to be with the best friends. I can't think of his name. He does it to death. John Moxley does it. Are y'all understand where I'm getting that? Everybody do the move, okay? Um, Jay Lethal does it. Hmm. Sammy Gababa does it. All the people that do it. So when this young boy have his next match and Swerve kicked out of it, how we supposed to believe he going to beat somebody with that move? Somebody talk to me. He hit Swerve Strickland with his cutter that he called Wayne's World. How are we going to take on Cersei now? When he put it on somebody else. And they don't get up. You just buried that man. That young man need another move now. The same way. Why does Cody Rhodes have to give some people three? Three of those moves and yet he won the other day just using one how many crossroads do you need Seth Rollins doing, doing the head stomp he gave Miz the head stomp and Miz was out for 10 minutes he had to give Brock Lesnar four of them, I think. But he gave Finn Balor one at the pay-per-view. And Finn Balor was paid. Why did they do this? Kicking out of a finisher doesn't make the person that's taking it look better. It make the move look phony. Are they understand that? It make the move look phony. Cause you're like, well, why didn't Finn Balor kick out? 